Hello everyone and welcome to another episode. Uh, my name is Francesco D'Alessio and what we'll be doing in this session is we'll be going over the latest update to the Evernote Web Clipper. And uh, for those who don't know, the Evernote Web Clipper is a, a functional part of Evernote that allows you to clip things as you go across your day, um, on side the, inside the web, um, and really kind of add value to your Evernote experience. So this was actually launched probably two weeks ago now. Um, and I kind of like, I saw it and I missed out on doing it in that first week. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to catch up on the kind of benefits of it, but I also wanted to renew the previous video on how you can utilize Evernote's web clip to the maximum potential. So stay with me with this video. Um, what I'll be doing is also posting a transcript on my website, francescodelessio.com. Um, where you'll get all the information you need to know about it, um, maybe a little more context on how to utilize this tool. Um, it will just be a short uh, a piece where you'll be able to jump in and see if, if you missed anything. So um, I will be doing this. I'll be focusing first on the reasons why to download the Evernote Web Clipper, then move on to the clipping information part of things, the annotation then the organization and sharing part of things, which is really awesome. And then what we'll do at the end is we'll overview what it actually looks like. So what it looks like natively in Evernote once everything is done. So I'm looking forward to doing this video. So uh, I will join you in a sec uh, and we'll jump over the reasons why um, Evernote is important to download. So the reasons why to download the Evernote Web Clipper um, I've broken these down into three because I think they come under three categories. Um, so if you have Evernote, um, one of the reasons why you would download the Web Clipper is because you're adding a lot more powerful technology to your Evernote experience. So if you're just currently using, you know, Evernote um, just to bring things in real time. So, you know, uh, shopping lists, um, information about work, uh, travel information, anything like that. You know, you're clipping information as you go in real time. But this is almost taking a little bit of the difficulty out of researching and clipping and taking things as you go along uh, and making it as simple as possible. So one, it's a really powerful piece of technology um, that has a lot of uh, potential when utilized just daily, weekly, uh, and on a routine basis. The next thing is it's a fantastic way to kind of collate and coordinate your website, your web activity. So a lot of people I know, what they do is they tend to, you know, clip all their articles offline onto Evernote so that, you know, they're just about to go on a plane, they're clipping this stuff offline, and then they can get their phone out and kind of, uh, you know, they can start reading the articles, and it's all in a really simplistic format. Or you're, you know, you're doing a research task, and you want to be able to know, you know, you're writing an essay, it's in class, and you're going, oh, oh no, where did I get that piece of information? Where was the relevance to that? Uh, and you can simply go, oh, wow, look, I've got this selection I made a couple of weeks ago on Evernote. Um, and you're not worried, you're not scared that you're going to miss out on anything. So it's a really powerful um, piece of technology. It's a collation tool. Um, and it's really good at coordinating whatever you're doing, no matter what you are doing. You can apply it to a lot of situations. Um, and what I found is that over the time of using it, loads of people come up with better scenarios than I do of using it. Um, and they're always really, really power users who come up with ideas that can relate to any different experience you have. So it's awesome. And and then the final thing, it's really simple and it's free. What a lot of things you find um, is when you've got a really powerful piece of technology, it's not free. Um, and that's kind of dangerous. So be, it being free is fantastic. So what I would recommend doing is to download the appli application. Um, go to evernote.com slash web clipper. Um, it's it's an extension, so I've got Chrome here. As you can see, it's a Chromebook, but it's got Chrome installed. So it works on Chrome, Safari, uh, Internet Explorer 7 or above, um, Firefox or Opera. So you've got a really uh, great choice no matter what kind of niche or large um, browser you are using. So I would recommend, you know, pause and click, downloading it and just signing in on the side because that's what you have to do to start off with. Okay, so let's get stuck into what the Evernote Web Clipper can do. And what I wanted to focus in on at the start is the new update. So the reason why I'm redoing this video, I've actually done this video before, is because I wanted to go into a more clarity on certain things. But I also wanted to highlight some of the new features that uh, Evernote are able to bring through their Web Clipper. 
And one of these is actually focusing on rich content. So, you know, we've got LinkedIn here, um, you know, clipping this bit of information previously would have just probably been a bookmark or you could have saved the whole page. It would have been a bit fragmented. But what they've done with this version is they've dramatically improved it. So here I've actually got the Phil Libin, the uh, CEO of Evernote. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to the web clipper. So it's simply going up and I recommend dragging up into a, a really common place where you know you're going to go. Press it and what it does, it analyzes the page first and then it goes, okay, what is this page? Um, and just before we go into actually the context of this page specifically, what you can do is actually you can clip it as an article, a simplified article, a full page, a bookmark, a screenshot as well. Um, and you can even make selections. So if I were to um, select a certain bit and right click, I could directly add it to my Evernote. So, but for this example, um, what it's done is it's working with Evernote. So it's directly understood that it's a LinkedIn page. And what it's doing here is it's actually taking the page and almost creating like a, a CV type format for it. So if I scroll down here, what I can do is I can unselect certain parts of it. So if I don't want the summary, you know, if I can, I want to get rid of the summary, but keep the experience. So you can chop and choose what you want, which is great because, you know, let's say I had a meeting with Phil, uh, which I'd really love. Um, and uh, I was just about to go on a plane or I was just about to go in a taxi to go and meet him. And there was no Wi-Fi or no 3G all the way or 4G all the way to the event. I could simply just download all of his full LinkedIn page and then have a good old look. Um, and that's awesome. That's really great. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm not going to go into the organizational features of stuff, but I'm just going to print press save really simply um, and come back to that a bit later. So what it's done up there is it's just syncing that um, and I'll uh, come back to that later. We're going to get, go jump into a YouTube page now. So basically, this is just a YouTube video. I'm going to play a little bit of it. Um, this is Casey Nasa, uh, really good YouTuber. I definitely recommend checking him out, uh, having a follow of him. So what you can do with the Evernote Web Clipper here is if I simply tap this, um, what I'm actually going to choose is um, YouTube. So YouTube is one of the updates and really rich pages that they've been able to work with. So I'm going to take out the description because that's heavy bits of information. I'm going to save that. So they've worked with LinkedIn, YouTube, and I think they're working with things like Gmail and those kind of rich uh, websites. So it's really, really cool. Next one is an article by The Verge. So this is an iOS 9 article, Apple in beta. Um, and what you can do here is if you press this, um, what it will do is this is potentially a regular web page, is it will understand stuff already. So it's actually started bringing up information. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it as a simplified article. And uh, as you can see, it's pretty much taken all the distraction out of it. Um, and I can save it into that. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to quickly save it into my inbox so it's a bit easier to come back to when I'm getting there later. Um, I'm trying to find my inbox now. It's, uh, uh, I'll just pop it in my personal brand. There we go. Okay, so I've saved those pages. Um, as you can see, it's very simple to do that. So clipping information as you go across your web, the web is actually really, really easy and really, really relevant. So that's super, super easy. Now I'm just going to come back and uh, do some annotations. Um, and then we're going to go on to organize and share. So I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so when it comes to annotation, what you need to be doing is you need to have the functionality and tools um, to be able to kind of do it really quickly um, and then to put it into a kind of system later on that you can access quite easily, whether it's via phone uh, or even through just the web or, or, or your Windows or Mac. So obviously Evernote is perfect for that. Um, and what you can do is when you go to the Web Clipper, and I really recommend this for designers, is so what you can do, um, so, for example, you're showing this page to a client and going, "What do you want this website to look like this? Um, or you could be going, okay, we don't want it to look like this, but we want it to look like this. So what I'm doing here is I'm simply just taking a screenshot of the page. Uh, what it will do is it will bring up a handful of features. So as you can see here, I've got an image highlighter. Um, I've got an arrows. So I just dry out the arrows and you get other shapes as well. Um, so we like this guy in the video. Um, image highlighter could be like that. Uh, so we don't want that image, maybe. Um, and then you've got your regular highlighter, uh, which is just, you know, being able to free draw on screen, uh, being able to crop it. Um, so you can have the ability to just go, oh, yeah, make it a little smaller. Um, then over here, you've got really nice, good, clear 
uh, indication marks. So we like this guy, we like that photo, um, but then you can go back and go, you know, we don't like that, or we like we don't like his T-shirt. Um, and then you you have the ability to add, you know, exclamation mark, question mark, and a heart. So you can go, I really like that clock. <laughs> um, then on top of that, you can also add uh, text as well. So you can, uh, you know, maybe, uh, hello, this one, um, sorry, this, my spelling's awful. This one looks great. Uh, and then you can add that there. Um, and also you can change the color palette for a lot of these. Um, you can also zoom in. Um, and get a kind of bit of bigger picture when you're doing the kind of nitty gritty stuff. So that's really easy, and I'm, I'm going to quickly save that into uh, for later so that we can come back to it. And what it will do is clip that for later. So it's a really cool annotation stuff, and it works pretty much on every site, um, and it's really, really, really useful. So let's move on to how to clip, uh, how to organize and share your kind of content once you've created it. Okay, so when it comes to organizing and sharing your stuff, it's actually quite important to get uh, the level of functionality around the uh, Evernote Web Clipper and also uh, being able to share it in the right places. So what Evernote have done is, um, so for example, uh, what I'm going to show you here is an article that's about Apple Pay coming to the UK. And, um, you know, I want to share this with a couple of people, but I also want to say, you know, this might be important for us and in certain things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the Evernote Web Clipper. Um, I'm then going to choose maybe... They, you know, you get lots of options. I'm going to choose the article format. Um, and then what I can do is I can um, go into here. I can choose the notebook I want to store it in. And that's quite important. So from here, you get all your notebooks. And you can even find them if you're struggling with me. I've got too many notebooks. Then you can add it in a tag. So it might be uh, meeting notes. And then that goes to the tag. And you can add up multiple tags too. And you can also add a remark and, um, and say, hello, use this. Uh, for the meeting tomorrow um, and that's almost a reminder for you and as soon as I save it um, that's organizing it that's kind of putting it and it will do it all for you inside the Evernote um, so when you go over to Evernote next it will be there and I'll show you in a sec how it looks but from here obviously you get uh, you might go oh no um, Sam actually wants that now uh, and what you can do is you can go simply share note in work chat or you can actually copy the URL straight out um, or even you can uh, send it on Twitter, you can send it on Facebook, LinkedIn, Gmail, and it will go straight out. But here, I'm just going to quickly save the URL. And as you can see, it bring brings up a really nice box, and you can share it from there. So that's really, really useful. And also, you've got work chat there where you can share it to uh, other people as well, um, no matter whether they have work chat or not. So that's a really cool feature, organize and share. So let's now, let's go and look at what the new Evernote Web Clipper has been able to do with those uh, chunks of information. And let's see what it turns out to be like. So I will see you in a minute for the results. Okay, so what I've just done is I've jumped into my Evernote for web. And what I wanted to show you quickly before we finish up is what the end result was for all of these articles that I clipped. So as you can see here, the first, the what last one we just did, it went in the right pro, um, folders, uh, notebooks, sorry, and the right tag too, but it didn't format very well. It didn't come out in the best way possible. Um, so there might have been some sort of technical issue, you know, with the next web uh, being able to embed into Evernote. But going down, um, we're able to see that the the workspace one that we did for Evernote.com works really, really well. And and these kind of annotation tools look great and can actually really impress other people too. The next one was the um, article, um, really lovely, looks great, um, really nice simplistic format, only one image and kind of a really simple experience. The next one was um, actually the pizza eating contest uh, one on YouTube. So you've got the YouTube link, you've got how many views it was at that period of time when it was published and also a nice thumbnail image. So that's quite nice to have. Um, especially if you added the description too to it. Um, the next one is the LinkedIn of Phil Libin. Uh, it looks great. Um, you've got obviously all the information there and you can potentially add your own notes. So it's almost like you've got a little Phil Libin CEO um, CV right there in front of you. Anyway, guys, um, what I wanted to do is I just wanted to thank you for watching my channel. <laughs> I hope this one was useful. Um, you might go away and go, I've learned a little more about how the new uh, web clipper works and how i can utilize it in my days so um at the moment what i'm doing is i'm trying to build a uh, more unified system in, in actually producing content so 
Um, look out on my Twitter at Francesco D underscore A L E S, and we'll be able to communicate about the new project I'm working on. Try and organize people in terms of their productivity. So um, I'm really looking forward to doing the next video. Um, please keep sending me any reviews, things that you want me to test out, uh, and I'll definitely check them out. So um, appreciate everyone in the community so far, and uh, just about to reach 500 subscribers, which is quite large for me. So uh, looking forward to that one. So thanks very much, everyone. Make sure to subscribe and have an amazing week and keep productive. Thank you.